Hi everyone, this is Susie with Creative Cafe, and I have a really cute mini I want to share with you. Um, first of all, though, I want to say Happy New Year. I hope that you have a blessed 2013. I'm looking forward to the year ahead, so uh, I hope that you all are too. And um, this here is the last project that I needed to finish for 2012. This is a wedding album that I promised my niece as a wedding gift. Uh, she was married back in May, and I'm just now getting it done. So, anyway, I hope that she will enjoy it. This paper was made with the curtain call, Graphic 45's curtain call. They had an unusual wedding because uh, he had been married before, and so had she. And they both have uh, a son. He has a son, and she has a son. So, they have two kids. And um, they really just got married in like a classic... Um, era. They went to the 50s, I believe, uh, with their outfits. And so it, it wasn't a traditional wedding, and I didn't want the album to be a traditional uh, wedding album either. And she really liked the curtain call paper, so we went with that. And um, I kept the theme, uh, Let's Dance. And I don't know if I can get this in the picture or not. I'm going to try to raise it up. But I just used the label, the label maker and put For the Rest of Our Lives. Um, I've got the forever down here in my love and this is just on some Tim Holtz film strip there um, cut this out so that I could put the the row of tickets behind it so uh, um, I didn't pop it up didn't want it popped up but I did cut it out so I could place that behind there use some recollections bling and primo paper flowers and this key here I got at Michael's and it is a, a metal key it's really big and um, I got it yesterday on the dollar bin I wished I'd grabbed more but I didn't I got also a whitewash one that just looks whitewashed anyway I really like it and like I said I wished I'd grabbed more but I didn't and they probably won't be none there when I go back <laughs> you know how that goes um, but anyway you open it up and here I have um, just added some of the recollections tags and this one is um, my best friend is and it's blank we have been friends for uh, blank years anyway something she could fill out and then she could journal something on the back if she wants they were actually friends back in school so that was kind of appropriate for for that then I just added a little bit of border there with this with the postage stamps and then on this page here I've actually just created a flip page I um, used these little binder clips from from Walmart just the little black binder clips um, got it where she can journal on the back if she wants and then there's the the pictures the top ones just like it I'm, I'm not going to take it apart but anyway just uh, goes on there clips on there and then just like that and then here is the back side and there's her two kids and there's just part of the ceremony then on this page here I, I put a tab at the top and what I did is I just put a picture and I'm going to try to get this in frame anyway I got a picture added a piece from the curtain call paper there and then added another long flap at the top and same way just added the curtain call paper there and then this here and I'm gonna flip this back up here so I can kinda of get it in the I don't know if you can see it or not but I've added um, just a couple of borders there with her picture and this is her bridesmaid or maid of honor I'm sorry and then uh, the picture in the center is just one of them during their ceremony and then that just flips back up and I love this because you really can't see the picture and that's kind of what I was going for uh, with this page so uh, anyway on this page here I simply have added another two of the tags I added some pictures and I've left the back just kind of blank and I feel a piece of adhesive there I'm gonna have to get that off I can see that uh, anyway left the the backs blank there and I'm gonna leave that off so I'll ever to get that adhesive out of there and then here is just them with them uh, getting ready to cut their cake or they are cutting their cake and then this page here 
I've added two tags that just slip in a little pocket there I have where she can journal. I have titled this page The Kiss. You undo the seam binding and here I have just a couple of pictures and I've just kind of stamped with the stamps from the collection and then you open it up here and this is where they had their kiss and I'll kind of do that up after a while and then this page here I've just left it pretty basic I didn't even mat it I just placed two photos there of them and added some of the curtain call tickets there and then some of the little strips there that look like film and then this page here um, I added two tags from the side of the photo where they could journal and here's a picture of their two kids and them with the cake and then this unties and uh, you open it up and this is where they were actually uh, feeding each other cake and cutting the cake there so and then whoops kind of fell out there and then this page here I've added um, where they have just you know drinking their punch there um, I only had one picture of a dance so that's where we put it is on the back of this this here is a May Rhodes thing and I did stamp it with the curtain call stamp and it opens up and what I've done is I've just filled it with some photos that I have cut down somebody's getting in the cake before you're supposed to and anyway I just cut some photos down and then just added them added them like so and I always find glue as I go along I always hate that when I can find the adhesive but anyway there is the photos that I've cut down see if I can get these back in a little bit of an order there okay and anyway I thought that was a good little pocket just to hold uh, those extra photos because you can, I can't never seem to uh, do an album where I can get every photo in there so it's just as easy for me just to find a pocket to put extras in so anyway here is the um, page I'll put back together then here I've got where they were finishing up their punch uh, you open this here and it is just a couple of photos that I had extra where they were cutting the cake he's carrying the top layer there and then on this page here I haven't put any photos this is just a his and hers page for journaling um, I've got hers here under the girl and his under Charlie Chaplin there or supposed to look like Charlie Chaplin and um, I've just stamped a couple of tags for her to journal and then I actually added a little craft envelope for him and her because I thought you know uh, it'd be cute if they just uh, wanted to maybe write something to each other and maybe you know their fifth anniversary or something they can get it out and read it or you know something like that maybe their third anniversary I don't know but but anyway I just stamped it with the curtain call stamps there and then here is the back page here um, just her they got married in the park under a gazebo it was really nice really pretty day for it too but uh, anyway here is um, my uh, wedding album and um, anyway I hope that you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching.